Hi, so I'm now going to walk you through what I'm doing here is to get the light and shadow uh, sorted of the painting. So it's not really the aim to get um, the shades right, but sort of, you know, the light hits you here. Then it's slightly darker here. Then it's really dark here. So you find where the light and shadow is. I want to make it a base color. Usually I use a monochromatic palette. Here it's leaning more towards the pinks. Um, so I want to get that base color because then I'm going to start putting the texture shades on. So this is just to give me a little bit of idea of which area to work with. So I know that the light hits the nose because it's the most protruding. There you have that. And it's going to be hitting the forehead all the way here. This is the part where it hits the most, so I'm going to add a little more ivory and make it a little more there. And then it's going to go further up here. And then, let's see. Now, and the other place where the light will hit you is sort of right above the uh, cheek. So there it hits here, but this part is more than this. So we're going to make this a little more brighter as you see and this goes all the way here. Now right under the eye is not that bright so we're going to use another color here and we're going to put that right over there. Now again the whole point is not to get the perfection but start to get that feel. The other area which really protrudes is the chin. So we're gonna start to shade the chin now. If you notice that all the different lights are a different shade because they are brighter, but they're not really all that bright because our faces are not symmetrical. If you're God gifted, it is, but usually it's not. So some protruding parts like your chin, your forehead is going to be lighter and some are going to be darker. So once we have that sorted out, of course, then we go on to the lips because that's the real part. But the, always the lower lip is brighter, the upper lip is not. So you have to make note of that. Now, once this is really done, then what we will do is start seeing how the face is being defined and are the proportions now working out for us. And once we've got that sorted, what we will be doing is actually going ahead and painting it. So, uh, so far, that's the journey. I'll keep you guys posted.